Hello, YouTube. Hi. Hi, guys. Surprise. It's Spiritual Whistleblower here. I have not been on YouTube in forever. Ages. Okay. I have not been on YouTube. I know you guys miss me on YouTube. But listen, I've been out in these streets enjoying my life. I've been traveling all around the world. I've been enjoying my friends, good food, friendships. Um, I've been dating. I have been dating, yes. Um, weight loss, my fitness and my body. Um, I have a whole new body, a whole new outlook on life. I'm healthy. Um, I've been in therapy. I, I've been living a good life. I've been enjoying life. Oh, wait. And I am finishing up my doctorates. I told you guys I'm working towards a doctorate in psychology. So I'm in school too. I'm in school right now, guys. So um, if you're following me on Instagram, what I do on Instagram is I post the videos of um, my self-care. So I've been on a self-care journey where I dress up, I look good, I go out, whether I'm vacationing, I'm traveling, I'm out to dinner, I'm treating myself good, I'm dressing good, I'm feeling good, I'm looking good, and I post those videos just to teach, you know, you guys, you guys are survivors of domestic violence, you guys are survivors of narcissistic abuse, I'm just showing y'all that there's life after, um, you know, dealing with a narcissist, whether that narcissist is your mother, your father, your sister, your cousin, your best friend, your baby daddy, your ex-husband. I am creating these videos and leading by example to teach you and show you that I'm not just a talker. I am walking the walk. And if I can do it, so can you. So on my Instagram page, all year long, all 2023, I've been consistently posting content of self-care, self-love, going out to the spa and getting massages, getting facials, going to visit my dermatologist to see if I can get Botox and fillers and get, you know, skincare treatment. Um, going to see a specialist about the cellulite in my legs and how to uh, eat healthier and, you know, change and sculpt my body, going to the gym, going to, listen, 2023 has been about the level up, the glow up, the come up. Yeah. So I have not been on YouTube because I have been really enjoying my life. That's all and that's it. I have found the key I've I found the key, the code, the secret to destroying a narcissist. It, it's living a fucking happy life as an independent person. Yeah. So, you know, you guys, over the years that I've been on YouTube, I have been trashed by multiple YouTube life coaches. They have an obsession to destroy me and they all have failed they all have failed because, see, I am the spiritual whistleblower. And what these idiots forget is that the job of a whistleblower is to call out the frauds, the fakes, the, you know, the ones that are scamming. And that's all I simply do. I, I'm just doing my job. I'm a whistleblower. Baby, I'm trademarked. I'm not playing. I'm, this, is, this is what I do. God has called. This is my purpose. This is what God called me to do. So if you're in this YouTube community as a life coach and you get angry that I call you out and you respond and you get real nasty and, and, and indignant, you just you just expose yourself. Because if you're not guilty of the shit I'm accusing you of, you would just ignore me and say, you know, she, it's something wrong with her. I'm just going to ignore her ass and keep doing what I do over here. But every time I call out a bitch, they, they retaliate, they mad. And then what ends up happening they they expose themselves down the line. I, I'll tell you what, everybody that I have called out to be a fraud and a narcissist, a grifter, a scammer, they all have they all have exposed themselves. I when I call it, I call it as I see it and it comes true. People doubt me all the time and they gotta come back and apologize. Spiritual whistleblower, you was right. You called it, you said it, you called it, and I should have listened every time. I've given y'all so many names. 2023 
How y'all are sitting back. That's this is another reason why I disappeared off of YouTube because I said, let me just let the audience just watch what's going out. Just watch what's going on out here in the world. Watch the celebrity world. Watch, watch, just pay attention. Everything that spiritual whistleblower predicts comes true. I am a prophet. I am a disciple of God. My discernment is nothing like anything you have ever seen. My discernment will scare an abuser. That's why the abusers attack me. They know that I know. Yeah, they know that I know. And they don't want me to call it out or, or teach y'all how to call it out. When Derek Jackson, Derek Jackson, the life coach, got caught up in that scandal where he was cheating on his wife. What did I tell y'all? Oh, was that an orb? Did I just see an orb? Did y'all see the orb? What did I tell y'all about Derek Jackson? I've made a few videos. When I first called Derek Jackson out, and this is before the scandal went out, I called him out for being a narcissist, a liar. I saw through him before it, before the scandal broke. And then I called him a narcissist and people were like, you crazy, you a hater, you jealous. I got attacked. And Derek Jackson even got in my comment section, ma'am, you wrong, you da 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 Then a couple months later, the whole scandal with him cheating on his wife comes out. Everybody was apologizing to me. Everybody was apologizing to me. I don't want your apology, bitch. I'm woke. I'm woke. I'm trying to put you on the game. These niggas hate me out here because I'm teaching women the game. I'm teaching you how to spot a misogynist from a mile away. All these niggas on these podcasts, all these fake ass relationship life coaches and the pick me bitches that are helping these niggas and supporting these niggas, they are enemies too. Ain't nothing like a weak ass pick me bitch that's a narcissist that supports an abusive nigga that wants to, you know, scam off of women and off our broken hearts and, and take from our pocketbooks yeah you gotta watch for the pick me bitches i called Derek jackson out i got attacked by so many women so many people then months later the scandal the scandal comes out where he's cheating on his wife with multiple women now everybody wants to apologize to me get the fuck out of it i don't want your apology I told you what it was. My discernment is from him. It's my listen. Everything that I do is because of him. Is is we we not playing over here? We not playing over here. Everything that comes out my mouth and up here is from God Almighty. So when I teach y'all and I'm telling y'all and I'm giving y'all my predictions, it's it's a gift. This is a gift that I'm sharing with y'all. I don't want your apology. I want you to take me more seriously because nothing that I have said has, has not been not true. When I call out a demon, when I call out a fake ass life coach, a fake ass fucking minister, a fake ass pastor, a fake ass celebrity that is abusive. I see it before the, the whole world sees it. You better listen to me. My shit be hit and I'm telling y'all what I see. It's a gift from God. And then what else did I tell y'all? I said, pay attention. When an abuser, a narcissistic abuser gets exposed, you want to pay attention to the people that support him. So when Derek Jackson got busted and that whole cheating scandal came out, who supported him? I saw R.C. Blakes. R.C. Blakes uh, supports Derek and his wife. They're all close. And I saw T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes reached out to Derek Jackson to help him. Abusers stick together and they support each other. Narcissists stick together. They never operate alone. They operate in groups. Because they have to abuse in groups. When you think a narcissist is attacking you one-on-one, -on -one, he's not. He's got, a, he's got help. There's somebody on the side helping him. I promise. They never attack one-on-one. -on -one. They trick you into believing that it's a one-on-one -on -one situation. It's not one-on-one. -on -one. It's never one-on-one. -on -one. They Trust me, they have help. They have hater help. So I saw R.C. Blakes reach out to Derek Jackson, and I saw T.D. Jakes. T.D. Jakes 
reach out to Derek Jackson. I said, oh, T.D. Jakes, you motherfucker. I can't wait till you fucking fall, you bitch. I can't wait till God exposes that ass, you fucking piece of shit. T.D. Uh, Jakes is a piece of fucking trash. I've been called it. You supporting a nigga that is dog walking his wife. Fuck you, nigga. R.C. Blakes? Y'all know how I feel about R.C. Blakes. That's a piece of shit, too. No, but here come the women, the female pick -me's. Where's your man at? You bitter. You hateful. Nah, bitch, I'm not bitter. I'm not hateful. hateful. I'm woke. I got knowledge and wisdom, bitch. And I know how to call a toxic nigga out from a mile away. Anybody that supports an abusive man that dog walks women is an abuser themselves. Now, what's happening to T.D. Jakes right now? What's happening to T.D. motherfucking Jakes right now? Did I call it? 2024 hear me and hear me good 2024 will be the year where victims start coming forward and really we're going to start seeing people get exposed left and right pastors ministers school teachers doctors dr jackie the black doctor she's a gynecologist but she abuses black women behind closed doors piece of shit bitch Pick me ass narcissistic bitch hiding behind her profession as a doctor abusing pregnant black women. Those are bitches I can't fucking stand. Those are the pick me black bitches that I can't fucking stand. She's a bitter bitch that can't have a baby and her husband cheats on her. So, so, so the way that she, you know, deals with her anger and frustrations is to bully black women during their pregnancy. Black women that trust her with their care. In their time, she's punishing the pregnant black woman behind closed doors. Y'all, I hate a, I hate these black pick -me's. Bitch, it's a lot of them too. It's a lot of these black pick me bitches. I'm just doing the Lord's work. That's why they hate on me. I ain't never been wrong when I called out a motherfucker. Now look at these life coaches in this community looking all pitiful. That money is running dry. All the grifting is going to come to an end. God's sick of them. God is tired of them. They, they've been getting away with this shit for so long. Scamming black women. Scamming your pocketbooks over your broken hearts. God is going to get them, I promise you. They was mad at me. They attacked me. And they're going to lose. Ain't none of them on my level. Ain't none of them out here living and show. Listen, I don't talk to talk. I'm out here showing people how to fucking beat narcissists. You live a good fucking life. You don't have to date. You don't have to be in a relationship. Learn to be happy by yourself. I, I Just go to my Instagram page. Go to my Instagram page and look at all my self-care videos. That's how you destroy narcissists. They're going to hate you when you learn to love yourself and you don't need their validation. You don't need their money. You don't need shit from them. And you cut off their access. You set a boundary. Say, bitch, you cross this boundary, you're going to go to jail because I'm going to press charges. If you cross this boundary, I'm going to take my gun out and blow your brains out. You set a boundary and you stand on that fucking boundary. You stand on motherfucking business with the narcissist. And they're going to hate you when they see that you're leveling up and you're, you're, you're beautiful. You're happy as a single person. Then they start the gaslighting. Oh, you're going to die alone. Oh, you see, you, 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 you know, you, you listen to all these single people out here. You're going to be miserable for the rest of your life. Oh, you bitter. Oh, you this and that. They start gaslighting because they're really mad that you, you know, your self worth and you don't need to be in a relationship to be fucking happy. They need to be attached to people at all times to validate. They need constant validation. They have large friend groups. That's why they, they in the, the church is the worst place. These church goers have to have this community because they don't know how to be alone. And they hide their abusive selves in the church with other abusers in the church, pedophiles, rapists, you know, nasty ass fucking cheating ass, lying ass, dog ass motherfuckers, the, 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 from the deacon, the deaconess, the pastors, the whole fucking congregation. Church is toxic as fuck. A lot of toxic motherfuckers run to church because they don't know how to be alone. And they're fucking everybody, fucking the pastor. And, and No. The pastor is the head abuser. He's the cult leader doing the most abusing. No. Single people that are happy by themselves, we don't need a validation. We don't need a friend group. 
We don't need to be around people all the time. We're happy and content by ourselves. And you know what? There's people out, out there that are jealous and will hate you because you know how to be happy by yourselves. You don't have to be constantly dating. You don't have to be constantly in a relationship. You're happy by your fucking self. You're making good money. Ain't nobody, you ain't got to worry about sharing your fucking money. You can go on vacation any goddamn time you want. You can buy yourself luxury clothes, a nice house, a nice car, and not have to explain shit to nobody, bitch. Do you know? Do you know I know married women? Married women are the worst. They're the pick-me bitches. Their husbands are cheating. Their husbands are, are mistreating them, and they will not leave the marriage. And instead of them leaving the marriage, they will fucking target single women and try to bully us and talk down on us like they're above us bitch you're married mind your business why are you over here worried about what a single woman is doing mind your business and tend to your cheating ass husband bitch you pick me ass bitch that's why i don't believe single women should be friends with married women i'm, I'm against it single women should not be friends with married women because nine times out of ten that married bitch is going through it behind closed doors and she will not leave the nigga so instead she'll try to fucking destroy your life or give you bad advice or set you she'll play matchmaker and try to set you up with a toxic nigga so that you could be just as fucking miserable as she is. Stay away from married women in 2024 if you're single. You will have a much better, happier life on your own, enjoying your money, traveling, and doing what the fuck you want. Take it from me. So, oh, I was supposed to teach y'all about limerence. Remember, I didn't make my limerence video, but another the, the whole scam this is what these life coaches have been doing in this community they're grifters and scammers and they prey on the hearts of uh you know the vulnerability of victims of narcissistic abuse okay and domestic violence and the way that they keep getting y'all money this is what i've been telling y'all is limerence if you don't know what limerence is i want you to google it and study it there's several videos about it on the internet limerence is basically a false, um, it's when you daydream or romanticize a person that you're physically not with. Whether it's an ex-lover, you may have a crush on somebody and because you have a crush on this person, you're thinking about them day and night. You have never met this person. You've seen them online. You've seen them somewhere, but they don't know that you exist, but you're having constant daydreams about them day and night. That's limerence. Or if you've been in a relationship with a narcissist, that dogged you, used you, abused you, abused you, and they've moved on and gotten married and all that, and you're trying to heal, but you keep thinking about the good times you shared with the narcissist over and over again, but you can't get over the fact that they played you, that's limerence. It's when you think about them nonstop, and you try to turn it off. You, you want to stop thinking about them, but you won't turn it off. So limerence is nonstop daydreaming, uh, romanticizing about this imaginary shit that you had with a person whether the person is a crush or whether the person is somebody you used to deal with it's romanticizing and ruminating and reminiscing and just constantly thinking about the shoulda woulda coulda is what would have happened if maybe if he would have did this and we we, we could have worked it out or maybe if i would have changed this we could have worked out it's, it's it's daydreaming and romanticizing and it's unhealthy and what happens is when you get on these channels and you sit up and listen to these relationship life coaches, they're just going to constantly repeat, repeat, repeat. They're going to recycle the same topics over and over again. And, and what it does is going to keep you thinking about that ex and all the shit they did. It's not going to put you forward. It's not going to push you in a place of healing. It's going to keep you stuck thinking about that ex and all the shit they did to you. I can't do that to y'all. I just, I just cannot do that to y'all. I, 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 I've, I've given y'all so much content to teach y'all about narcissists, but it's time to move on. It's time to elevate. It's time to get out of that stage of limerence. I want y'all to stop thinking about that ex and I want you to excel and level up. That's why I took a break from YouTube to get out and enjoy my life and show y'all how it's done. You can, you can stop thinking about that ex when you start focusing on you and get off the YouTube channel. Stop finding these motherfuckers don't care about you. These life coaches just want your money. They sit in their fucking podcast or they sit in their living room making these videos, running their fucking live chats. They want your money. That's they don't care about you. They don't. They want your money. 
I think it's a disgrace to prey on the broken hearts of women. And, and you, 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 you want them to stay stuck. All you, you recycle the same topic over and over again. You want them to stay stuck so they, they, they can keep coming back to you and giving you their money. You're not teaching them how to move on. You're not teaching them to be independent. You want them to stay stuck in this state of codependency. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. Reminiscing, ruminating and all that. Coming back to your channel and watching this shit over and over again. It's foul. It's wrong. It's y'all. They're fucking scammers and grifters. I want more for y'all. So in 2024, get the fuck off of YouTube and get out here and live life. And if you don't know how to live your life, you can go to my Instagram page, go through all my videos. I've been enjoying 2023. I've been on cruises, vacations, um, fitness. I've lost a lot of weight. I've gotten surgery. I, I've gone out on dates. I've gotten a whole new wardrobe, been to the spa. What else did I do this year? I've done so much this year. I've, I've been enjoying the fuck out of my life incredible 2023 was an incredible incredible year and now i'm in school working towards my doctors in psychology i did go to therapy this year therapy played a big part i'm in i'm glowing i'm enjoying my life y'all get off of these youtube channels following behind these life coaches they just want your fucking money you want to get over your ex start living life get out here and live your life and enjoy your life and stop letting somebody psychologically groom you and mind fuck you. That's all these life coaches are doing. They're doing to you what your ex did to you. You know, they want your fucking money, but they're very private and very secret about their background. You don't know nothing about their upbringing, how they was raised. You don't know nothing about their relationship history. They're, so, they're all secretive. Spiritual whistleblower has been transparent. You know about my upbringing. I talk about my family, my parents. I've talked about all my relationships. I've talked about everything. Co-parenting with a narcissist. I've been married to a narcissist. I've been beat up by a narcissist. I've been number transparent to y'all because I understand as a victim of narcissistic abuse and domestic violence, y'all have trust issues. In order to trust me as a life coach, I need to be transparent with y'all. These motherfuckers in this community are not transparent. They're liars. So in 2024, may God raise your discernment. May you get out here and enjoy your fucking life and start living. Get off these YouTube channels. Stop giving people your money. Start setting boundaries. Get into your purpose. Get into your bag and, and put everything into you. You have the information. You know what a narcissist is and does. You don't need to sit up and watch videos all day about it. Okay, I wish the best for you guys. Um, I'm about to go level up even more. 2024, I'm going to be very secretive and private, but I got so much great shit that I'm focusing on. I'm about to level up times 100 in 2024. You think I was doing this shit this year? I'm about to really... Psh, yo. But I love y'all. Thank y'all for the constant support. Those who have been riding with me since day one, I see you, I feel you, and I'm so overjoyed and, and I appreciate the fuck out of you. And I love you. And if I ever come to your city, come come see me. I'll come hug you. I'm Don't be scared to approach. A lot of people be scared to approach me. I'm like, why? I'm not a celebrity. I'm a regular Joe Schmo. I will talk to you. I will hug you. I will love you up. I'm a regular person. Don't ever put me on a pedestal. I'm not, we're all in this together. You feel me? Um, I love you guys. I want the best. Have an amazing 2024. I've given you every fucking thing I can from me to succeed and to beat a narcissist. Not only do you have to vet the men you're dating or women you're dating, Vet your pastor, vet these narcissistic life coaches, vet your doctors, your lawyers, your school teachers, everybody, the people you go to work with. And stop running your mouth, stop telling people your business, be secretive about, start setting boundaries and focusing on you. God bless you, happy 2024 from the Spiritual Whistleblower. I love you guys, later.